you have already set up the control box and the gateway. Now you can integrate the radio components. The radiator actuator, underfloor heating controller, room sensors and repeaters are all connected to the gateway by radio. Ensure that the LED on the rear of the gateway shows a steady green. If this is not the case, connect your laptop to the gateway using the installation kit. The gateway menu will start in your laptop's browser soon. If it does not, enter the address 10.0.0.1 in the address line. Place the two AA batteries in the radiator actuator. Click the Radio Components menu item. Select the Registration menu item. The character M is displayed on the radiator actuator. Now, press the Learn button several times. If the connection is successful, you will be prompted to give a name for this actuator and to assign it to a room. To complete registration, press the Learn button another two to three times at intervals of one second until the register button is released. Now, fit the radiator actuator to the radiator in the selected room. Press down the Learn button for three seconds to set the radiator actuator. The display indicates the set temperature and the radiator actuator is ready for operation. To set up the room sensor, first insert the AAA batteries supplied into the upper section of the housing. Next, select register from the radio components item of the gateway menu. You will be prompted to press the learn key. Press and hold the Learn button for two seconds until the LED begins to flash. Once the gateway detects the room sensor, you will be prompted to assign it to a room and to give it a name. To complete registration, press the Learn button another two to three times at intervals of one second until the register button is released. Finally, place the upper section of the housing over the lower section. Select a suitable installation position in the distribution cabinet for the underfloor heating controller. Fix the top hat rail provided in the distribution cabinet and position the underfloor heating controller on the rail. Ensure that you will be able to fit the antenna outside the cabinet at a later stage. Connect the antenna to the antenna input of the underfloor heating controller. Connect the thermoelectric underfloor heating actuator to the underfloor heating controller. The status indicator lights up green when the underfloor heating controller is ready for operation. Now go to the gateway menu, select radio component and choose the menu item register you will be prompted to press the Learn key. Press and hold the Learn button for two seconds until the LED begins to flash. Once the gateway detects the underfloor heating controller, you will be prompted to give it a name. At this point, you can assign the different channels to the thermoelectric actuators of each room. To complete registration, press the Learn button another two to three times at intervals of one second until the register button is released. Continue to register all the radio components of your system in this way. In the final step, you can control the radio range of the components you have registered to the gateway. Select the connection test menu item. You will see a list of the registered components. 
click Connection Test and then click Start Connection Test. Now press one of the arrow keys on each of the radiator actuators you have fitted to turn on the display. If the connection is successful, the display shows the set temperature and the radio symbol is lit continuously. Now also press the Learn key on each registered room sensor or underfloor heating controller three times at intervals of one second. A green dot now appears in the connection list beside each successfully connected radio component. If one or more radio components do not have a successful connection, try positioning the gateway differently until it can reach all the radio components. Next, press the Radio System button and then press Repair Radio System. Repeat the connection test. If this is still not sufficient, add a repeater to improve radio performance. A repeater improves the radio performance of the smart home system and is available as an accessory. Plug the repeater into a free power socket situated between the gateway and the out-of-range component. In the Gateway menu, click on Radio Components and select Register. Press the Learn button on the side of the repeater several times. If the connection is successful, you will be prompted to give a name for the repeater. Now, the repeater is initialized. Repeat the repair procedure to the radio system so that all the radio components become familiarized with the new repeater, then run the connection test for the components that are out of range. Once the Alpha Home System is fully set up, you can install the app on a smartphone or tablet. Once it's installed, you can set the app to suit your individual requirements and living patterns.